Rumah Soleha, said to be the very first HIV shelter in Malaysia, stands as a testament to the power of compassion and the unwavering belief in the potential of the human spirit. Ruma Soleha began its journey in 1998 when matron Fadzila Abdul Hamid decided to start small as an NGO, supported by the Islamic Medical Association of Malaysia and a small grant from the Ministry of Health during a time when the national sentiment towards HIV AIDS was clouded by fear, hostility and indifference. At the time, Ruma Soleha's first full-time staff was Wan Hava Binti Wan Husin. These pillars of strength have been instrumental in nurturing Ruma Soleha's growth and ensuring its sustainability. Each playing a unique and crucial role, they have woven a tapestry of love, resilience, and social change that has touched countless lives. Ruma Soleha's vision, rooted in faith and driven by a deep sense of social responsibility, laid the foundation for a sanctuary where those ostracized by society could find refuge and rediscover their self-worth. In the heart of Ruma Soleha, amidst the stories of resilience and hope, stand two extraordinary women, Matron Fadzila and Fatia Hamza. Their unwavering dedication and compassionate spirits have not only shaped the lives of countless individuals, but also redefined the very essence of social contribution. Before founding Ruma Soleha, Matron Fadzila was one of Malaysia's first public health nurses specializing in women's health care in rural Malaysia. Treating patients sometimes meant having to take helicopters, motorbikes, and sampan to get to them in an emergency. Recognizing gaps in her knowledge, she undertook field research, even visiting red light districts in Chow Kit to understand the challenges faced by these women. Beyond being a caregiver at Ruma Soleha, which was built on her own land, she became a maternal figure to those those in need, guiding and inspiring them to find hope. Throughout her journey, Matron Fadzila balanced her commitment to healthcare with raising her seven children. Her life has been a testament to unwavering dedication and sacrifice for the greater good. She has provided support to more than 400 women and children living with HIV. Fateya Hamza was tutoring children during her university days before becoming Ruma Soleha's project coordinator. She is dedicated to dispelling myths about HIV transmission with the goal of improving the lives of these children. She faces her greatest challenge in offering emotional support to the children at Ruma Soleha, who are mostly orphans and vulnerable, highlighting the urgent need for compassion and resilience in her mission to uplift their lives. To tackle this, she actively collaborates with other NGOs and engages with academics, deepening her understanding of child development through psychology. Ruma Soleha has faced significant challenges, supporting women and children affected by HIV, struggling in its early months to establish one of Malaysia's first shelters with limited funds. Founding volunteer Che Salma Muhammad recalled that residents slept on newspapers and the team lacked proper equipment. Residents came to the shelter referred by hospitals and other NGOs, typically in a state of weakness with shattered self-esteem and poor hygiene. Ayo asal sedih. Asyik fikir nak mati je. Adik-adik badik pun tak mau terima. Matron Fadzila navigated the complexities of caring for residents from diverse backgrounds, often dealing with their volatile behaviors due to past exploitation. To maintain order, she established herself as a firm authority, and many residents thrived under her tough love. The primary goal of Ruma Soleha is to prepare residents for reintegration into society, emphasizing their independence. Ruma Soleha has transformed the lives of its residents by focusing on nurturing their self-esteem and helping them to rediscover the joy of life, medical care, spiritual enhancement programs, empowering them economically through training opportunities like soap making sessions with UTAR, encouraging them to take responsibility for daily chores to fostering a sense of purpose and community, community service initiatives like Gotong Royong with university students to help them integrate into society. Ruma Soleha's contributions to society haven't gone unnoticed. 
Their activities have been featured in the mainstream media and several research projects. At the Red Ribbon Gala in 2004, Ruma Soleha won the Dr. Siti Hasma Special Mention Award for Excellence in Care and Support at the grassroot level. In 2017, Matron Fadzila was nominated by actor Aaron Aziz as his inspiration. Matron Fadzila goes beyond the job of just being a nurse. And because of her, there are many, many, many HIV positive people living normal and more empowered lives in Malaysia. Matron Fadzila's significant contributions to combating AIDS in Malaysia were recognized by the Malaysian AIDS Foundation when she received the Toon Dr. Sidi Hasma Award in 2018. Dr. Adiba highlighted her unwavering care and support for individuals living with HIV since the onset of the epidemic during a time when they faced severe ostracism from family and friends. Matron Fadzila's dedication has sparked a ripple effect of compassion, influencing her children to engage in charitable work including one daughter who founded a school for underprivileged children in Indonesia. Many success stories have emerged, with women starting their own businesses or returning as volunteers to support others facing similar challenges. At 75 years old, despite facing personal health challenges, Matron Fadzila continues to be the sole full-time caregiver of the home, tirelessly devoted to its mission for over 25 years. Uh, after being diagnosed of some uh, heart problem, then I realize, oh, I'm prepared to leave the world, but I'm not prepared to leave Rumah Soleha yet. So I was thinking, oh, that must be the reason for my living now. <laughs>